Alright, this is Gongs Unlimited, and today we're going to show you how to assemble the Great Wall Gong Stand. This stand includes three wooden pieces, two large screws, four smaller screws, two wall anchors, and a mallet hook. Before you get started with your Great Wall Gong Stand, you're going to want to make sure you have all the tools you need. You're going to want to have a stud finder to locate your stud in the wall. You're going to want to use a small level to ensure you're installing your stand straight on the wall. You're going to want to use a Phillips head screwdriver to mark your holes for the wall and assemble your gong stand. You're also going to need a drill with a 3 8 inch bit and some tape to mark your bit. You may also use a hammer potentially to install your wall anchor or to assist getting your wall anchor into the wall. You're going to need a 10 millimeter wrench or an adjustable wrench to um, install the nuts for your anchors. And then you're also going to want to finish with some scissors to cut your excess rope off. So this is your top piece of the Great Wall Gong Stand. It'll have two larger holes than this side piece will ever have. Um, and you can see that these holes will coordinate with these holes in your side piece. There's a flat side and a rounded smooth side to both of these pieces. When you construct this, you'll want to make sure that the flat sides are facing out as the stand would go together like this. The very first step when installing your great wall gong stand is to find a stud in the wall where you would like to place your gong stand. So use a stud finder Find your center of the stud and make a few marks. One about there and one about a foot down should do. Then you'll want to take your side piece and line it up with the marks that you've made on your wall. There we go. You'll probably want to use a small level to ensure that you're nice and straight with the wall. There we are. After you've decided on your placement and found the center of that stud, through the two larger holes, you'll want to take a screwdriver or similar and just mark in the wall where you're going to want to install your gong stand. That way you don't have to try to measure in between and drill them just right. Now our holes are made. To begin assembling the Great Wall Gong Stand, take your top piece and this little smaller piece and two of the smaller screws and go in through the larger side of the holes. Remember this flat side will always be outward facing. Line them up with the pre-drilled holes in the smaller piece of wood. Get them in there finger tight to start and then go ahead and tighten these in about 90% of the way with a screwdriver. Yes, you'll need a screwdriver for this gong stand. And then do the same with this piece with the other two small screws. All right, now that I've lined up this small piece of wood with both of our side pieces of wood with just a little bit of play Take your two larger screws and line them up so that these boards connect to each other. There. Now that they're just hand tightened into their holes, go around and finish tightening up the other screws that go in to this small brace piece. and then continue to tighten these big screws in. All right, so here's your built great wall stand. Um, at a nice, solid 90 degree angle. In the next video, we're gonna discuss how to install this stand using these wall anchors. 